Hey, what's going on everybody? Here's something you haven't seen in many, many months. This was the cutting that I took off of the first lemon tree. It's been sitting inside and there's no way it's going to support any of those if they actually live, but here's a little peekaboo cup. See the one root coming out of there. So I need to get around to transplanting that. Probably going to have to cut those off, but a lot has changed in a week. Look at that thing. I'm going to have to actually put gallon bags. These are quart bags. This is a gallon bag. Well, yeah, this is about a gallon bag. These are one quart bags. So I'm going to have to change these out. Looks like we've got a little nub coming in there. Well, there's this giant offshoot on that one. So all these are doing really well. I should have grabbed the ones in the refrigerator. Or sitting on top of the refrigerator. But, um... Anyways, that's the status of these. I figure I won't bother looking for roots for another three, four weeks. Um, spinning around, had to buy potting mix. California, we don't have dirt. We got enough dirt to grow crappy grass, and that's about it. So, I planted, transplanted, I don't remember, I don't think I showed these last week, so. The blueberries are in the blue buckets. The blackberries in the black buckets. Hey, imagine that. But I stuck them here next to the house. Hopefully, hopefully that it'd stay a little bit warmer. It's been getting down into the mid 30s at night. Hey, look, there's a critter, and you can barely see in the shade. Trip me out, actually. I'm like, what the heck is that? So, anyways, the blueberry and blackberry are surviving so far. Um, a little bit worried that it's a little too cold. Watered the carrots a little bit today and um, they're just kind of hanging out. It's a little too cold, but there's some carrots hiding in there. Nothing really going on down uh, the sad back alley. There's a little action going down there with these snow peas. Um, I cleaned out the Chinese cabbage. I planted the strawberries here. I'm a little worried about the strawberries as well because it says 50 degrees. Um, so they're dormant. We'll see what happens. Um, I mean, it's three bucks, so I'm not really going to lose too much in there. Still have to clean these out where the radishes and the baby bok choy were. Just ran out of time and energy. Um, moved all of the tomato buckets out. Got a couple pepper plant buckets still hanging out there. Um, and then I've got four buckets of red potatoes, two buckets of Yukon, and the rest of the Yukons are in the big tub back there. So we'll see how they go. Um, I'll try to insert a video, check out Nan Hollis and Nancy's Homestead on how to grow the potatoes in five gallon buckets. You don't want to see me do it. You just want to see what comes out afterwards, right? So cabbage is progressing and not a lot going on with the fruit trees or the raspberries so that's really uh, sums everything up I don't know if you can see let me try to zoom in I probably need to go behind it you can see actually how much I trimmed of the apple tree It's 
since it hasn't produced in two years, so I trimmed the heck out of it. So we'll see what happens. Other than that, no lemons on the second lemon. No limes on the first lime. These are still hanging out. It's got a little black on the end, so I'm not sure. Oh. Yep, ain't nothing going on when it's not attached. And there's blossoms. But not a darn thing going on here. I mean, there's growth. I don't even see any blossoms. And I need to clone the blueberry. So this is a peach sorbet. They're 30 bucks at Home Depot. This one I'd gotten last year on sale, so I want to clone that one. And nothing happening in the ginger bucket. So we'll see what happens. 